You know you're Israelite? Yeah. You know you're Israelite? Come talk to me for a second, man. Holler at me. What's going on with you, man? Hey, what's going on with you? What you know, man? Let me know what you know. I don't know much. Teach me something. Let me know what you do know. I don't know much. I just hate white people. That's you, all I know. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brought the thing out. That's right. See, uh, let, me, let, me, let me put something on you. Yeah. Let me put, we'll, we'll, uh, make it personal. Personal to me. Right? I grew up in Christianity. Right? Mm -hmm. But ever since elementary school, I always, I noticed white kids were getting treated different. You understand what I'm saying? I always wonder why I'm always getting in trouble. Why I'm always getting blamed. Fifth grade, it got to the point where my mom started to question, like, why is Kevin getting so many referrals? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Why am I going home with so many referrals? I don't get no trouble. I ain't no troublemaker. You know what I'm saying? I may talk a little bit, clown, joke, but I ain't no troublemaker. Because the white man's the damn devil. That's right. That's why. And that's why we in this condition, because we don't know that. You see what I'm saying? That's why we, we, we selling drugs. What do you think we selling drugs for? How we lying in their pockets? Yeah. Whether they be we going into their prison, or we selling the dope for them, right? How so how you find out you was an Israelite? I don't know. I just something we go. I read the Bible a lot. Uh huh. And uh, well, two things. There's no other other people who sold their own people to another nation. So it don't make sense that if we Africans, the Africans was the only people that sold their own people to another nation. Right. That don't make sense. See, so so they can't take. See, so you know that story is foolishness. Yeah, it don't, it don't make sense. When somebody sit down and think, yo, why would an African sell an African? It don't make sense. It don't make no sense. Yeah. Right. It don't make sense. So 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 that make it clear that you understood that it was Hebrews they were selling. Well, I read the Bible. Well, I, I grew up a Christian. I go to the church down there, but in Deuteronomy, when it say that okay, the slaves would sit on ships, that didn't happen to no people. That's right. Yeah, that didn't happen to nobody, but but well, let me ask you something. Did, yeah. you, did you ask your pastor that? They, they always beat around us. <laughs> they always be. I asked my pastor. Actually, I was having a. I was asking my pastor about because he said Jesus is God. So I was asking him about, and, and they don't understand when they say Jesus is, and stuff is one. But he made the other people think that Jesus is God. I so you like, don't believe that. Now, it just makes sense too. How it makes sense? No, exactly. because how can we beat up God? I mean, when Jesus was here, they beat him. And right. Said, you, you can't beat the up God. You Almighty power, the Almighty Creator, <laughs> heaven and earth, yeah. right? Yeah. Came down to be born in the ghetto, so the white right? <laughs> to be hated by everybody, so the white man can hang him on the cross. <laughs> yeah, they beat him. Right? You gonna beat up God? Read that. Read this. Check this out. First Corinthians. Chapter 11, verse 1. The pastor going to definitely beat around the bush on this one. Read this. Be ye followers of me, uh -huh. even as I also am of a Mashiach. Right. Now I praise you, brethren, mm -hmm. that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Right. So Paul said, hey, what I'm about to tell you, remember these things that I've been telling you. Right? Yeah. Think this. But I have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. Right. So the head of every man is who? Christ. Christ, right? Okay. The head of every man is Christ. Yeah. Read on. And the head of the woman. And the head of who? The woman. They teach that in your church? Read that. Read on. Is the man. They teach that in your church? Oh, man. No. My wife is the head of my household. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? See, so, so, so understand. <laughs> Give me that. It's a new thing in the earth. Why, but, but, okay, let me ask you a question. Would right. I rule? The, okay. No, I'm gonna tell you. I should go get my wife. I said that. Now if I go get my wife, she might be mad. Now the problem is my wife called the police. The police told me I had to get out of my own house. Uh huh. So what? How I'm gonna say I'm the head? I'm gonna see, be around. Hey, listen, bro. See, that, you man, you getting to school. Your church ain't gonna help. Yeah. <laughs> you getting the hell? See, you getting to school. You gotta find. You show up. We gonna teach you how to deal with that situation. Yeah. You gonna learn wisdom out of these scriptures how to deal with your woman. And you gonna set your house in order. You got yeah. kids? Yeah. Hell, and you gonna set your children in order. Cause that's what's important. The white man put it in her mind, thinking that she over you. 
and she gonna call the white man to put you out of your house. The rules go for it. And then what happened? You, your children grow up and what? Sell drugs and be a whore? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And you feel powerless. Yeah. Hey, listen, man, the power's right here. Yeah. You think the situation you're in, them pastors should be beating around the bush with anything? No. You see what I'm saying? Like, you should be outraged. You should be enraged. Lives depend on you. They're in your hands. And you go to your pastor for guidance, and he playing games. Do you, you understand the severity of this? Yeah, I understand. You got something? Yeah, give me that. So, pal, check this out. Yeah. Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 22. Uh -huh. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Uh huh. For the Most High has created a new thing see, in the earth. See, the Lord created a new thing in the earth. See what I'm saying? This is the punishment that's whooping your behind right now. Read on. A woman. A what? A woman. A what? A woman. Uh huh. Shall compass a man. You see, your pastor ain't gonna go into the old oh, testament. What, what scripture is that? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that tells something, did not it? Call it out and read it again. Read it out. Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 22. Uh huh. Jeremiah 31, yeah. 22. All right. How long will thy go about, O thou backsliding daughters? Uh -huh. For the Most High has created a new thing in the earth. Right. A woman. A what? A woman. Bring it on. Shall compass a man. Mm. Mm. You feel that, don't you? Yeah. You feel that? You feel? Hey, listen, man. Give me that scripture in Christ saying, uh, they run into the house, they buying the strong man. When you take the house. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Yeah. John 10 verse 10? Give me that. John 10 verse 10. Let me tell you, some devil's in your house, huh? You're supposed to be the head of your woman. Right. Naturally, the woman's head is a man. Whether it's you or not, some man she listening to. She may not know it, but what? She got her phone in her hand all day. She watching TV. She getting philosophy from a man. Man put these things on TV. You understand what I'm saying? A man created women's liberation. A man did that. Yeah, Isaiah 3 and 12. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. And as for my people, children are their oppressors. Oh, as for my people, children are their oppressors. All right, read on. You see why? And women rule over them you see that that's why that's why the communities run them up single mothers you understand what i'm saying now i'm not gonna put the whole thing on the single mother because everybody's situation is different yeah. you understand what i'm saying you have brothers that put a seed into a woman and then split that's a curse according to the most high yeah. you understand what i'm saying but then you got brothers that's trying to stay home trying to be home Trying to be a strong man for their family. But then what happened? Read that. Matthew chapter 12, verse 29. Uh-huh. This is Christ talking. Read that. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house uh -huh. and spoil his goods? Uh-huh. Except he first bind the strong man. You say you heard what that said, brother? Yeah. If robbers was gonna come into your house and take your goods and take your woman, would you just sit there and let them do that? No. What they gotta do? They gotta kill me. They gonna have to kill you, bro. They got to bind you. They got to tie you up. Because what? You gonna stop them? That's why I don't understand slavery. Right. I don't understand why we just didn't prefer to die. Oh, hold on, hold on. Didn't hold be on. like that. Some of us did, but it was a curse, huh? You understand? Because check this out. It was a curse on the, the Most High put on the nation of Israel to go through that. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Now, if everybody jumped off the boat, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying?